Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I have an awesome vlog for you, but first, I made some theme music for these vlogs. So without further ado, roll the theme music. And roll the theme music. I'm, I'm trying to roll it, it's, it's not working here. No? Oh. Yeah, no, it's, something's oh, not it's, right with Final Cut. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah. so. Well, I guess it doesn't work. But anyway, so today I'm going to be talking about the gear that I take with me. On Sorry, but I mean. Okay, well, not when I'm in the middle of a take. Point. Roll it after or something. Well, I mean, yeah, but I'm, come on. It's better late than never, right? <sighs> All right, guys, so today's vlog is nothing special. Um, a few of you have asked me what my gear bag looks like, what sort of equipment I take when I um, film things like Cars and Chaos or just any sort of film project. What do I normally take with me to do all of this? So this is my camera bag. This has everything that I ever would need to have with me to film anything I wanna film. I've got my tripod right here. And now this is nothing special. This is, um, you can pick this up at Best Buy for like 20 bucks. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a friend who works at Best Buy so he gets a lot of discounts on their stuff. So I was able to actually get this for six bucks. But that's a really good tripod. Nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. In the bag, I've got obviously my camera. This is my um, to Canon T6i. Nothing special, nothing fancy, but it does get the job done. It's very nice. It's got this flip out touch screen that swivels around so you can, you know, if you wanna get a low shot, you can sort of have it down like this and, and get low shots with it. It's, it's just a nice camera and it's not that expensive. I think you can pick these up now for about 500 bucks with a starter kit. Next thing I have in here is my GoPro Hero 4 Black. This thing is just a great camera um, to have for putting on cars and stuff to get driving footage and whatnot. I've actually kind of drilled a little hole in the case here so I can plug a microphone in it. And then I've got a suction cup mount for it. I have other mounts in here, but they're just typical GoPro mounts. I don't need to show you those. Suction cup mount works great for pretty much anything. Hoods of cars, windshields, whatever you need to do. I've got my camera charger, obviously cable for the GoPro. This is my 28-135 lens. This is pretty much my favorite all-around lens, and I know you camera guys are going to kill me for not having lens caps on this. I lost them, but I don't really care because this lens is trash. I mean, this whole optics, everything's moving around. It's, it's a hand-me-down lens from my mom. She never took care of anything. I mean, you can see it's been dropped and dented. Um, it still works, but I'm gonna pick up a new one pretty soon because the quality is not quite as crisp as even my crappy uh, kit 1855 lens. But for sound, I have just a basic Rode video mic. These are great for just throwing on the top of your camera and getting acceptable audio quality. The key to any video you make, even if the, you have the crappiest camera, as long as you have good sound, that's already like half the video. You could have the best video in the world, the best cinematography, the best color grading, and if your sound is crap, it just, it ruins the entire video. Whereas you can have a mediocre video, but if you have good sound, it, it's a lot better. So. This is also a must have. I just keep this whenever I'm filming plugged into the camera at all times. And then for other sound needs, I have this Insignia um, lav mic. This is uh, really nice. It just clips onto the shirt. You can get good uh, talking, talking audio, whatever you wanna do. And it has gobs of cable. It's also a powered microphone too. So there's a little battery in there. So it boosts the audio signal to make it stronger, which is very nice, but it has so much cable. I mean, you can do so much with this. We've even um, clipped this microphone into an engine bay and captured engine sound that way and had the camera in the back of the car and routed this cable all the way through to get engine noise. And it worked really well. So this is another must have. It also has this, um, it has a three and a half millimeter jack on it so it plugs into pretty much any DSLR 
but it also has this awesome USB adapter which plugs into the GoPro. So since I don't actually have an audio recorder yet, I am going to get one and that will also be in this bag pretty soon. I'm gonna pick up a Zoom H1 as my audio recorder, but since I don't have that, this plugs into the GoPro and I'm actually just kind of using the GoPro as my audio recorder so I can put the GoPro in my pocket and still have good sound with this microphone as well. In here, I've got just some basic things. I've got a little bolt to blow out the, uh, clean the sensor off. I've got some cleaning wipes, extra battery for the, uh, for the road mic, little cleaning bits for the camera. This is like a little brush thing. What else is in here? Little cleaning cloths and stuff. So that's about it guys. Um, ordinarily too, I also have a couple of macro lenses. Um, for my 1855, um, but I left those in California, but I don't really ever use those. So this is everything that I travel with. It's in this nice little backpack form as well. Tripod just slips in onto the side, super nice. Another thing that you guys might not think about that I carry with me regardless of whether I'm filming or have my camera gear or not is an iPhone. Now, believe it or not, the iPhone can actually pull in some really good footage. It has a really decent camera on it for what it is. I also have an app called iFilmic Pro, which is really cool because it lets me play around with things like ISO, shutter speed, frame rates, aperture, all kinds of things. There's also some sound settings in there, so it, it kind of mimics, you know, what a DSLR can do. Granted, it's not as good as a DSLR, but for something that fits in your pocket, it's really not that bad. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's today's vlog, just everything that I carry with me on a daily whenever I film. And to be honest, it's it's not that much. I mean, that entire bag is worth le probably less than $1,000, and that covers all of my optical and audio as well with the microphones and everything. So you really don't need that much to make really good videos, and you don't even need that much. I mean, like I was saying earlier, you can use an iPhone you just have to be creative with how you get around the limitations of using an iPhone for a video. There you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one.